Hi, it's Pavel here with uh, another Java homework. We are going to calculate Heron's formula to calculate the, uh, the area of a triangle. We will collect some input, uh, sides A, B, and C, and uh, the, the uh, assignment calls that uh, the compute, to compute the area of the triangle using Heron's formula in which S represents half of the perimeter of the triangle and A, B and C are the lengths and we're supposed to format the result in two decimal places, all right? In case you did wonder what the Heron's formula is, this is it. This is the Heron's formula. And this is going to be our S, A plus B plus C divided by two, which is, uh, which S represents half of the perimeter of the triangle. So if it was A plus B plus C, that's the full perimeter, divided by two is half. All right, so um, let's do some coding. Let's do some uh, imports, standard ones, java.util.scanner, because we will need the uh, scanner object to capture some input from the user. And since the uh, assignment calls to format the output. I am going to also import the Java text uh, dot decimal format, and we will format the output in three, I think three, print area to three decimal places. All right, so uh, yeah, I don't think we need anything else to import, but we do need to initialize the object. So uh, scanner scan equals new scanner and it's going to be system.in because it's for the input and uh, we need to initialize the decimal format decimal format equals new decimal format and the, the format itself like I said will be three decimal places one two three there. Now as for the um, our variables, I'm going to do it in integers this time, uh, and it's going to be a, b, c, that's, that's for the sides, size, and we need uh, the integer p, which is actually s, which is the uh, supposed to be the half perimeter, right? That, that's what it said, half, to use, in which S represents half of the perimeter. And we'll need to hold it somewhere, and it's going to be, the result of our calculations will be held in a variable called area. All right, let's ask the user for input, system.out.printline. Please enter the three sides of the triangle. All right, so uh, you could do one side at a time. I'm doing them all in one line. Uh, not S, it's A equals scan dot next integer. B equals scan dot next integer. So after user enters A, he will automatically enter B and then he'll enter C and we will capture that in C. Scan that next integer. Now we close the scanner. There will be no more input from the user. So we don't need to keep it open. And uh, let's do the S. So the R S equals half a perimeter. Perimeter is A plus B plus C. That's the full one, but we are interested in half of it, so divide it by two. In fact, S should be probably double because we can get maybe a double uh, result. And uh, so we got the S, uh, and now we can see it in our formula. So S, uh, all right, so let's do that. 
So our area will equal the square root of our S times and uh, what was it? S minus A and so forth. S minus A, S minus B, and S minus C. So S times S minus A times S minus B and times S minus C. All right, so square root of S, S, and then we have the uh, S minus A, S minus B, and S minus C multiplied. All right, so that should be the uh, uh, formula. And let's output the result. System out that print line. The area of the triangle is, well, of the triangle using Heron's formula is, let's do it this way. And it will equal to our mm, decimal form that format of the area. Okay, so before I run it, let's do some uh, examples so we can compare our results to it. All right, so if A is 4, B is 13, and C is 15. Uh, the area should be 24. Okay, let's let's try it. 4, 13, and 15. So 4, 13, and 15, and 24. And the area is 24. So we got a working formula. Excellent. Any other example? I just don't feel like manually calculating the whole thing. But uh, yeah, you can you can try. Find some other examples. Ah, what the heck. Let's just do uh, one more. I don't know. What if it's uh, 10, 12, and 15? But now I need my calculator. All right. Uh, but at least we know that it's formatted to three uh, decimal places. So 10 plus 12 plus 15 equals 37 divided by 2 is 18.5. So 18.5 uh, minus 10. So wait, wait, wait a minute. Okay, so it's a. Uh, jeez. Uh, 18.5 times. Uh, 8. 0.5 times that's gonna be 6.5 6.5 and times 3.5 and a square root of that 59 I get did I make something some mistake somewhere probably calculate something wrong Let's try again. 10 plus 12 times plus 15. 37 divided by 2 is 18.5. So that's our S. Times uh, 18.5 minus 10 is 8.5. Times 18.5 minus 12 is uh, 6.5. And times 18.5 minus 15 is 3.5. 3577 seven, square root. Uh, you know what? So we are losing some uh, some digits. Uh, maybe because we don't have a. Even though we 
have it as a double, let's make it 2.00. Like specifically make it a double. And what was it? 10 times plus 12 and 15. And now we get it right. All right, so that's what was the problem. We, even though S is double, it did not hold 18.5. Instead, it only held 18. So it trimmed it. But with uh, if you use uh, an actual 2.00, uh, point zero zero, the calculations will be in double. And you get the correct result. There you have it. Hope it helped you. And I will see you next time. Take care.